so in the previous session what we have done uh, so we were uh, trying to i think it's uh, removed okay so we have uh, loaded the data from on premises sql server to a blob storage right so this is my on premises system there i have a sql server inside the sql server i have a database and all the data we were uh, loading into the blob storage okay so inside the blob storage we have a container all the 30 files we have loaded over here now what you need to do we have to copy these files from there to synapse dedicated sql pool inside the synapse dedicated sql pool i have some uh, uh, tables so inside that tables i need to load the data okay inside that tables i need to load the data okay but if you observe here uh, from here i have 71 tables okay here i have a so there are 71 tables right so what you did we have copied 71 csv files but in my target i have to load only for six tables only six tables means for example, let's take one table, a customer table. So let me make it as a dim customer table. Inside the dim customer table, I have so many columns, right? So those columns are coming not only from one table. Those columns are existing in different, different tables. Customer information, let's take a customer table. So this is my customer table uh, where I have to load the data. Yeah, take this customer table. Dim customer table contains what are all the columns? Customer key, geography key, customer alternate key, and title key, first name, middle name, last name, name style, birth date, marital status, these many things we have. So, so many columns we have. So, now what I am expecting from you, um, for this 71 tables we have, right, CSC files we have, right, for all the 71 tables, I want you to create external tables. Do you know what is the external? What is the external table? You need to use the poly base concept. By using a poly base concept, you have to create 71 external tables. How much time it will take to create 71 external tables? Hmm? How much time it will take? Five minutes. Just five minutes only. Within five minutes, you can create 71 external tables. Because the four steps, the first initial four steps is common for 71 tables. What are those four common uh, steps? Creation of master key, scope credentials, external data source, file format it's common for 71 tables then after for each table you need to create so each table when you are going to create you are going to have you should have a script table script any of those table scripts already you have in this uh, source you can just take that each table script and paste it over here you don't need to enter uh, uh, each and everything just copy the scripts from 71 tables what you have in your data source. Use the same scripts to create the external tables, but just change the table name. You got it or not? You know how to create an external table first? Okay. For example, let's consider this is my Synapse uh, dedicated SQL code. Here I need to create an external table. If you want to create an external table, what you will do? Uh, first, you will uh, prepare the four steps, whatever we have. Let me take that script. So, I have already a script. Control F, poly base. Right. So, here, so these steps are very common. What are the steps are common? Up to here, the steps are common. Up to here, the steps are common, right? Create master key, scope credential, 
external data source, external file format. Only challenge thing is here. Okay, for example, one of the table I want to create external table. For which table you want to create the external table? Uh, I want to create the external table for where is your heritage table? For example, one of the file, let me connect to different server. Let's take this table. Goes to the source heritage data mart. Um, you already copied this table script into the file. So with the same structure, you need to create. Let's take this one. Departments. Right click on this departments. Script as a table. Create to take this one. Then the same script you can use. But at the ending you need to add this. I will show you. Sorry, this is very small table. Let me take a big table. Mm. Let's take product category table. Create. So when I'm going to create an external table for this one, just try to take uh, only this part. Create. What are all the columns you have? Rest you can uh, leave it. Control C. I'm just taking only the columns up to here. And when you are creating any external table, just make the external table name as a ext product category or whatever. Some meaningful name you can give. And whenever you are creating external table, after the table creation at the ending, you should have this script. What is this script? With what is your location? Means your uh, file location, folder location, and uh, what is your data data source? Already you created the data source uh, uh, here. Already you created the data source over here. This data source. Correct? And then after your file format. Already you created the file format here. And then after this very common values. What I'm trying to say, don't type this script. You just take the script from the source database. The time consuming process for you to create the external table is entering this for all these tables. Correct? So already the script is there. You can take the scripts from here and create the external tables for each table. Then after for loading the data into the final tables, we will prepare a mapping document. Mapping document means, so what is your source table? I mean, source external table. For example, I have six tables, dim customer, dim product, category, subcategory, sales. For these tables, I want to load the data. In the dim customer table, I have several columns. For that table, my target table is dim customer. Sorry, database name is whatever the target database, target DB. And uh, what is the table you are going to load? Dim customer. To which column you are going to load? Uh, first name. First name column is coming from which external table? Okay. So source DB and uh, which external table you are using to get this column? That is first name. In which table it is there, you need to identify the table. So this document you need to prepare. This is the next step, but prior that, what I'm expecting from all of you, you have to create an external table for all the files, whatever you copy. Please use the existing scripts and you can do it. Tomorrow, what you need to do is, you have to prepare the external tables. Where you need to prepare the external tables? In Synapse dedicated SQL pool. You have to create the dedicated SQL pool. Inside, you need to prepare all external tables. Once the external tables are coming, then we will play other part. So external tables will be created here. So till now what we done, whatever the 71 tables we copied like a CSC files. This is completed. Now what we are going to do for this CSC files, we are creating the external tables. From by using these external tables, we will fill the data into the final tables. 
whatever the six tables because the six tables columns data available in around the 71 tables because one column is in one table another column is in another table how we can load this data from this 71 external tables to six tables that i will tell you so once the data is coming to the six tables then power bi will connect to the six tables and designing the reports and dashboards so this is the project flow one more scenario that i will discuss data bricks another flow is data bricks i will keep two files somewhere in the ftp server those two files will be moved here by using data factory only here also data factory but then i'm going to load the data into somewhere by using data bricks that is a different case scenario but now first we will complete this one tomorrow what you need to do is all of you to be created external tables for all the files okay ah tomorrow saturday monday you can prepare in your home also by monday you have to finish that you have everything all the scripts and these scripts and everything i have uh, i i just pinged it in the chart right one link in that link what i have i have kept all this whatever the source databases for 2017 version this is for 2019 version and mapping document and target table scripts also that is next part but by using these things we have to prepare the external tables first okay once we are finishing then we will discuss about the other part